from school. Have your pay day. Leave home early enough so you won't have to hurry to the bus stop. Buses operate on exact schedules so that everyone can get to school on time. Never accept a ride with anyone you don't know. If you should miss the bus, return home immediately. On roads or streets where there are no sidewalks, always walk facing the traffic so you can see an approaching car and step safely out of the way. You must also be alert for cars coming out of driveways. It is almost impossible for the driver to see you when he is backing up. When waiting for the bus, form a line a safe distance from the edge of the road. The bus will stop a few feet away from the line. Wait until it has completely stopped and the doors open before starting toward the bus. When boarding, the boys are polite and let the girls go first. When it is necessary to stand on the opposite side of the road, wait until the driver leaves the bus to escort you across. Never start across until the driver has made sure traffic has stopped and calls to you. Walk quickly to the bus, but do not run. Safety patrol boys ride on some school buses. They help maintain order and assist small children getting on and off of the bus. Everything possible is done to make the school bus safe. Mechanics regularly check and repair them to be sure they are in good operating condition. They are painted a bright yellow so they may be easily seen and warning lights are installed so that motorists will stop when the bus is loading or unloading children. School buses are also regularly inspected by special officers of the highway patrol or state police. This carefully trained driver is protecting you by making sure the bus won't move while he is helping other children across the street. You, as a school bus passenger, must also learn and obey safety rules in order to protect yourself and others from injury. Keep your arms and legs out of the aisle so that others may move quickly and safely to their seats. For your protection, it is wise to talk quietly only to those close to you so that the driver can hear the warning sound of a siren. Even the school bus must yield the right of way to emergency vehicles such as fire engines, ambulances, and police cars. If the driver hadn't heard the siren, it might have caused an accident. A quiet, orderly bus allows the driver to devote all of his attention to watching out for other cars and people. Sometimes it may be necessary for the bus to make a sudden emergency stop. If you are seated facing forward with your hands on your lap, you can quickly raise them to protect yourself from injury. The emergency door can be used by raising the handle and removing the safety guard chain. Older children should help the smaller ones. This exit may be used only if an emergency arises and you cannot leave through the front door of the bus. The rear window can also be used in an emergency by turning the two handles holding it closed. 
Keep your arms and body inside of the bus so that you won't be injured by other vehicles or branches of trees passing close to the bus windows. Many children have been painfully hurt in this way. When the bus arrives at school, remain seated until it has stopped and the door opens. The first row rises and leaves, and then the rest of the children follow, row by row. Many children ride city buses to school. It is just as important to remember safety and courtesy rules on a city bus as on a school bus. Form a line away from the curb, and when the bus comes, behave in a polite and orderly manner. <laughs>